Well, here we are. It's sunny Melbourne. Absolutely beautiful. We couldn't have picked a better weekend to come to Melbourne. It is absolutely lashing it down. Why have we come to Melbourne in the winter? Well, we come to visit these guys, Victory Motorcycles. Victory Motorcycles have been going for quite a while now, and uh, we're going to go into their showroom here in Melbourne, and this is how you get greeted when you walk into a showroom. It's brilliant. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very well. Scott's my name. Welcome to Victory. Oh, well, thank you very much, Scott. Now, um, tell us about your little establishment here, mate. Well, de we've been here for four years. Yeah. Um, we're an American-made motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, we're, we're a new breed of motorcycle into Australia, and we cater for just about every type of motorcycling there is. All right. You're going right. to show me around? Absolutely. Let's Absolutely. have a look. Let's start up the top. We've got the, uh, the Vegas Jackpot. The, the Jackpot series really caters for the guy who wants to ride on a Sunday. Uh, he wants to look good and turn heads doing it. Um, <laughs> and as you can see, the bike hey, just really looks appealing just straight out of the box. It really does, doesn't it? It looks absolutely stunning. Well, absolutely stunning. And all these, this paint job is actually standard. They're all standard. Not, not this one. I see this is a Nest special. That's right. But th those, are all, those are all standard, for the so, ones around the out. Exactly right. For so many years, we've seen bikes and shows and always consider them to be in the fifty to sixty thousand dollar price tag yeah. to be able to buy one of these that absolutely turns heads and doesn't look standard uh, for the price tag they are is, is just fantastic for the market fantastic now i see all around the walls as well you've got all the accessories you've got yeah your uh, pipes over here yes yes you, you've definitely got uh, a large amount of choice in regards to exhaust systems uh where that you can make anything from just a mild tone noise to an absolute blaster to to really Put the cat amongst the pigeons type scenario. And then we move on to? We move on to the wheels. Uh, wheels are definitely a personal choice thing. Uh, we thankfully enough have Arlen Ness on board with us uh, and he puts out some fantastic designs. He's an amazing customiser, isn't he? Yeah, he is, he brilliant. is. Yeah. It, it's, uh, with the Jackpot series especially, you can start out with a 250 rear wheel, go out to a 280, and if you really want to go the oh, full hog, you go to the 300. 300. So, <laughs> uh, with the jackpots, obviously, a 21-inch front, you can mm -hmm. blow that out to a 24, 26, and go a big wheel on the front of that as well. It's, it's never ending. You can, you can really go crazy. Fantastic. Now, so, we move away from here. We've got some accessories on the wall there. We do have accessories where that you can uh, put some comfort into the bike at the same time. Yeah. Uh, you can dress it up a bit by, with practicality of foot pegs and a bit of bling. Um, sissy bars. Oh, you've got to have bling on a bike. Absolutely. These days, you've got to have some chrome. Uh, it's all part of owning a cruiser and a, yeah. and a custom bike is putting it the way you want it. That's it. It gives the bikini wash girls a really, uh, when you have those bikini wash days, it really cheeses them off when they've got to polish all that chrome on the bike. Absolutely. It's Money good. well spent. And you do second hand ones here? There's a couple of second hands. Uh, we it? do second hand and X demos. Um, we get them to a certain kilometre status and then we, um, we move them on as X demos. So Fantastic. some real bargains to get there. Definitely. Excellent. And Save then we go support. down back in, back into the main showroom again. We do. We come down to the Vegas entry level. Mm -hmm. uh, the Vegas. This is also called the there's Vegas. A, there's jackpot. a gambling uh, theme coming up here quite a bit. Gambling. Gambling. Vegas. It, eyeball. It's definitely an American theme. <laughs> that's right. You've got. You've got to think eight ball. Uh, the, yeah. the black uh, is referred to as an eight ball. Eight ball. Uh, right. Simply off a, off a snooker table type scenario. So in this area down here, what have we got down here? Okay, th this series of motorcycle really caters for the weekend away. Oh my God, it, look at them. It will do day trips, but it's really designed to, to get out on the highway, down on the freeway and just take off. Uh, brilliant thing is, uh, there's heaps of comfort for the, for the pillion and the rider. Yeah. Um, with the Victory Range, because we have that longer suspension stroke than anybody else, you can buy a big touring motorcycle, but when you're actually sitting on it, you sit in it. Um, so yeah. you feel part of the bike, part of the bike. And, it, and it's not so big and cumbersome once you're riding it. So. Amazing. And on the wall back there, we've got all the clothing. We've got all the accessories there that go with the Victory Range. Which I must say, I, I had a look at this uh, the other day and decided I wanted it and it was quite nice. It's very nice. It fits you well. Well, yeah, it's unusual. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we cater for basically the leather scenario, ladies and men's. Uh, we've got the textiles for this time of the year. Um, and then we've got the casual wear down the, down the back there. Amazing, amazing t-shirts, ladies stuff as well, which is always good. Yes. It's nice. And how, how do women go riding the bikes? Ah, fine, fine. Yeah. It's just uh, where their level is at. Uh, they mm -hmm. go the particular motorcycle that yeah. suits them best, that they feel confident on. Um, and they start out on the Vegas and then they go up from there to, to cool. something else in time, yeah. Yeah. And down here we've got the sort of uh, creme de la creme. Yes, we, we've <laughs> definitely got the, uh, the full market of the, the big crews are taken care of. Uh, where that you can go away for a day, a week at a time, and it'll hold just about everything and anything that you need to take with you. Uh, Including your wife? 
Exactly right. Well, happy wife, happy life, that's what they say. Um, with bikes like this, you get straight away cruise control, uh, you get stereo, it's got all the GPS capabilities, iPhone, um, intercom, the, the whole works. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Absolutely incredible. And of course, and to finish it off, we got some helmets. Yes, as per display. normal motorcycle store, we do sell helmets, gloves, boots, um, everything that you could be uh, needing to be safe out there on the road, that's for sure. That's amazing. Well, Scott, thank you very much, Scotty. You are more than welcome. Excellent. Um, thanks for giving us a tour around. Uh, we're going to go and have a little bit of a closer look at uh, one of the bikes now um, and uh, see how it actually handles on the road. Okay. Now, I've, uh, I've just picked this up from uh, Victory uh, Motorcycles here in Melbourne. It, this is the Victory Cross Country Tour. What a great machine. I only had a very, very short ride on it, basically because of the weather here in Melbourne has been horrendous. But we got a nice morning. I was quite surprised how good it was in traffic, actually. I was quite surprised. We've come through the city this morning and um, it, it does handle quite well. For a big machine, it's amazing. As with all the Victory, 106 cubic inches of, uh, of engine underneath you, absolutely bulletproof engine, absolutely superb it is. The, uh, it's quite cold here this morning. This has heated grips, heated seat, so absolutely, you're in comfort all the way. It also has a special thing at the front of the, uh, front of the bike, which um, although they only look like plastic things that swing round, it actually controls the air going through to your legs. So in the summer, you can open them up, open the vents up, and it lets lots of air into your legs so you get nice and cool. But in the winter, like it is now, this is absolutely brilliant because you just close them up and uh, you just don't get any cold air on your legs at all. In fact, um, I turned the heated seats off because I was actually getting too warm because the air from the engine, of course, is all just, it's kept in the same place and it's absolutely brilliant. ABS brakes, um, which you, you, you're going to need on a machine like this, especially uh, if you're riding in the city. I mean, there's certain things here that can catch you out, like cobbled roads, and uh, certainly uh, the ABS system is absolutely outstanding. Passenger comfort is amazing. You've, you, you, your passenger can lean up against here. You've got so much travel that you can travel, you can carry so much kit in this motorcycle. So a weekend away is no problems at all. You're looking at over 100 litres of storage space, which is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, the panniers at the side do come off. Obviously, if you want to uh, take them off, maybe for security reasons, you want to take them into the hotel uh, room with you or something like that. The, uh, the passenger has uh, speakers at the rear, so they can hear what's going on. You've got a, a full radio system on it, so you can tune in whatever radio you want. Uh, this has got, I think, 96.3 on it at the moment. Um, I had to turn it down at one stage, it was actually quite loud. Um, it, certainly, uh, it certainly makes people, uh, it turns their heads when they see it. Uh, the passenger also has an amazing footrest. Now these can be adjusted as well, so if they're slightly longer in the leg they can adjust those up. So they're brilliant and the back area here, which is, uh, will take two full size crash helmets and that lifts up and as I say that will take two full size crash helmets in there and uh, you've also got a, a DC 12 volt um, a charger in there so if you want to charge your uh, bits and pieces you can do that. It also has on this side an iPad, uh, sorry iPod, oh, an no, iPhone dock, not an iPad, be a bit hard on this, but yes you've got an iPhone dock in the side so that makes it uh, excellent for choosing your own music if it's not a radio station you want or you're out, you're way out in the country and there's just no, no radio uh, signal. You can get yourself your iPod, plug it in, and away you go. It's a big bike round the, uh, round the city. This is for the open roads. That's what it's designed for. You can still ride it. You can still ride it to work every day if you wanted to, but where it's going to come into its own is on the country roads. You get out there, and it handles like a dream. I've only managed to get it into fourth. It's got six-speed gears. The overdrive is absolutely brilliant. The warranties that come with these bikes are amazing. The servicing is, uh, is very, very good. Um, and Melbourne here, they have an incredible service centre. We'll show you a little bit about that later on. But yeah, it's an incredible service centre here in Melbourne and also in Sydney and other places around the country as well where you have the, uh, the Victory Motorcycle brand selling. 
So if you're looking for a bike that's, uh, you, you want to go one down from the Vision, um, we'll look at the Vision later as well in the series, that's an amazing machine. <laughs> if you want one down from the Vision, then this is definitely uh, a bike for you. If you're, uh, if you're a tourer, you like getting out into the mountains, getting out around the country roads, then you are gonna love this machine. One up, two up, it doesn't make any difference. This boy will do it, and the torque in it is unbelievable. It's, uh, it really is, it's an incredible thing. Doesn't has a great screen on the front, you can adjust it. Um, it come, you can get actually different size screens. I thought this screen was absolutely brilliant. I had the, uh, the visor open on the helmet, didn't have any problems at all. No wind, nothing at all, no buffeting. It's not like the Vision, it doesn't have an uh, um, electronic screen which goes up and down, you can move it around. This is fixed in the position, but it, it's great, it's absolutely superb. Um, as I say, you know, the weather here is uh, somewhat inclement, and uh, this was a superb bike to ride. And even on the damp patches on the roads, and going across the tram tracks, no problems at all. No problems, and you've got, you got full confidence in that ABS system. If you want to plant the front brake, and it's going to help you back and front, no problems at all. Um, great, uh, great viewing through the mirrors, very, very clear, very crisp. These machines, when you take them out of the box, they're full power. You don't have to do anything to them if you don't want to. Certainly aftermarket exhausts are nice, you can certainly do that, um, but you don't need to. You can buy this straight out of the crate and you've got a superb machine. If you don't want to touch it and add anything to it, you don't have to. It's a great machine. So that's the Victory Cross Country Tour. Make sure you have a visit to your uh, local Victory dealer. Well, I'm here with Rob Clarkey. You're the junior development manager for the Fast Line Advertising. Yep. Um, Fast Line Advertising don't only do the 125s like we've shown on the last series of uh, On Two Wheels. What else do they do? Rob? Well, basically, they realise we're going to get it from grassroots up. There's a, a big hole where we need to get juniors on track, yep. so we're trying to fill that gap. Um, basically give the kids an opportunity to come along. We were at the bike show, we presented the bikes. Uh, we want to get them on track as easy as possible. Give them a go, see if they like it. If they don't like it, it doesn't matter. They've had an introduction to motorcycles in a safe environment. And also, you know, hopefully they'll take some savvy skills onto the road if they need to in the future. So what will they be riding? These are little 125s, are they? Little CBR Honda, CBR 150s, about 16 horsepower. Yep. Fantastic bikes to learn on. And basically then we develop them further on to the 125s if, if they persist. But these are great bikes to learn on and uh, we can get them on track coaching. I, get, I coach kids, at, uh, boys and girls, this is a young lady's bike, she, she's part of the team. Yep. We're actually trying to develop it to, to be a team. It's, um, and basically they're 11 and 9 months years of age, I can get them on track and coach them. Um, and we do it in our sessions and then at 12 they can race. So that's 12. 12 years of age, they can race. It's fantastic. Yeah, right. Is there, is there a, isn't there a law that they can't ride under, under 16 or something in Australia? Is that on the roads, but we're on the racetrack. So yeah, it's yeah, all right. good. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you go over east, yep. we can get you on track at eight, and eight, eight years of eight and nine months. Yeah, right. And eight that's years a, of age there's a three be month on. period where you, before you race, basically. So you can tr ride a bike, but then you have to be, reach a certain age you can race. So they ride all the 50 uh, automatics over East Coast. Fantastic metric kit series. Yeah, right. Brilliant. So yeah, yeah. No, we're actually a little bit behind, a little bit in WA. Hence, we're trying to develop it and make it happen for these kids. Yeah, it looks like they're going forward anyway. It's fantastic. All, all these bikes. Yeah. Right? Oh, all oh, you need to see it. Ask them. It's brilliant. They love it, and we enjoy making it available for them. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, so they start off in the little 150s up to the 125s, and then if they're any good, they'll probably join the Moto3 team that uses it. Well, the serious side of what we do within Fastlane is we are a race team, yep. but we realise that we can't just take everyone to nationals. We have to develop the kids and also the fun of it. Basically, yep. we're there for the fun. Yep. If we get people come through a dead serious, we have the ability to take them through state, national, and basically to potential wildcard. You can't ask for that much more. Than That's that, really. what we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. No, it's excellent. You don't have to lay out your twenty six thousand dollars to not start to, with. No. How much would it start How for a little junior to get them? It's not very much to get them. Well, at the moment, seat. if you have say, if you or your crew had a child, you want to bring them to, we put them out there free of charge. We hire the track, we put fuel in the bike, we supply the tires, we even um, and we get them on track, see if they like it. Yep. We lend them kit. Yep. Uh, and let's get it happening. If they enjoy it, basically they can lease a bike for the year for two thousand eight hundred and ninety five dollars. We supply the bike, maintained the fuel, mm -hmm. we supply the tyres, uh, they have to pay their entry fee, but we also, we add in, to make them feel part of a, a crew and a team, we supply them with their very own first pair of custom sized leathers. 
sure. um, which is fantastic for them. Yeah, and that's definitely. all that's all within the package. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. so it's, um, it's nearly as cheap as, as playing chess. Well, we're trying to keep the parents as happy as the kids, really, because yeah, the parents are not spending a lot of money. And in all fairness, you don't have you can stay on these to your. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. you haven't got to spend a lot of money to race. You can just race for the pure love of it. You haven't got to go serious. So, what's the difference between the the, the smaller bikes and, and the the one two five? Okay. Well, basically, the CBR one fifties are a four stroke. Yep. Um, basically, they only put out about sixteen horsepower. The one two fives are a two stroke, and they put out about forty horsepower, and okay. they weigh seventy kilos, so they're lighter. Yeah, it's a lot. They're a pure race. These yeah. are basically a road bike converted for the track. Yeah, so so it'd be more safer to put them on one of these before than a 125. And, we wouldn't and do it, we wouldn't do it. it. They'd just start on this and they progress. We excellent. want them to enjoy it. No worries, that's excellent. All right, well, thank you very much and um, we'll hope to talk you through more of the, more of the show. Yeah, I look forward to it. Cheers, thank, thank you very much. Thank you Now, I'm here with Graham Jeans. Now, Graham's been involved with the show quite a few times. We've seen him on the track. We've seen him talking about the 125s. You had a... Now, what's happened, Graham? You've suddenly lost the use of your balance or something? You've now gone to a can -Am? Could be the midlife crisis coming on, I think, Keith. <laughs> yeah, totally different concept to these. Yeah. Um, coming from a predominantly two-wheel background, uh, rode the odd sidecar here and there, but uh, the Can-Am Spider is a totally different concept. Uh, gives a lot of people an opportunity who uh, perhaps haven't got the ability to hold up a motorcycle or uh, old age is setting in and they need something which they can have a ride on, get the feeling of being on a bike, wind in your hair, you're out there, uh, the elements are, are around you. But uh, as you can see, we've got three wheels on the ground. So it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, I, I can liken this almost, the, the seating position, I mean, it's just like a jet ski. Very it looks so. almost like a jet ski, doesn't it? Very it's the way so. it's sort of, uh, you're sitting on it. Now, obviously it doesn't handle like a jet ski because you'd lean a jet ski. This you've got to actually steer. Yep. And how does that go with motorcyclists? I mean, you're a motorcyclist, yep. you ride your caddies, you've got all these bikes you ride. How do you cope with going into a bend? Has there been a little bit of a learning curve? It certainly has. Um, it, it, it's very much like if you've been on a, a powerful jet ski, one of the big jet skis, the body language involved on, on the machine, uh, and also like on a quad bike, um, whereas a, a normal bike will counter steer into a corner, you, you're effectively pushing the opposite mm -hmm. way. This you just sit nice and still and basically pull on the one bar and push on the other so you've got a turning effect. The beauty of these, they're fitted with the power assisted steering as well, which... Oh my God, you're kidding me. Yeah, serious. <laughs> uh, at, at low speed, you can literally move the bars with a couple of fingers, yeah. and as you get faster, the, the power steering decreases on the bike, so it's less sensitive. Um, very easy to ride. Once you start up in the ante a little bit, within the speed limits, of course, uh, you do tend to use a little bit of upper body movement as you would on a normal motorcycle on the road just to lean you into the corner because the forces want to push you to the outside of the bike. But um, that's no. only one of the features with that. Uh, and weather-wise, you're, you're almost totally protected because I, by the time it hits that screen yep. and goes over the top of you, you're not going to get a lot of weather, are you? Virtually. Uh, I came up the freeway tonight with a screen in the low position. It's a multi-position screen on these bikes. Um, visor open. No buffeting, no crying of the eyes or anything. So it's a very relaxed riding position. There's lumbar support on the seat. The seat is heated. The grips are heated. The uh, the list of electronics on this bike is phenomenal. Oh, Stability goodness. system as well. So if and uh, you can tow with these as well. Most definitely, uh, can do a beautiful range of um, trailers for the bikes. It's mm -hmm. fully hooked up to the swinging arm. Uh, gives you a total carrying capacity of around about a thousand liters, combined with your side boxes, back box, and the storage facility at the front of the machine. And, and you're down at Causeway uh, Canam? Can yes. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come along and have a ride. I should think so. We'd have yeah. to get you, bring your license down and uh, make sure you're all tickety boo to ride. But we will do that. We'll get along and, and a have a ride and uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that uh, later on in the series. Um, just go through, uh, you've got lots of bits and pieces on here as well. I mean, I heard the radio. Yep. Actually, from about half a kilometre away, I heard the radio, so you've got a good sound system on it. Most definitely. It's, uh, this, is, this is your top-end touring um, machine, along the likes of a Honda Goldwing, somebody looking to travel long distances. All the creature comforts, like I say, it's got the heated seat for the front and rear passengers, even the side rails on the side, which the passenger mm -hmm. in there sat up on the back. Uh, they hang onto these side rails, they're actually Jesus heated bars. as well. Yes, oh my yep. God, bars. They're actually heated. Passenger's got separate volume controls, CB facility on the bike, iPod capabilities, plug your iPhone in as well. It's got the port in the back box. Uh, you can hook up your, your iTunes to it as well. 
ABS brakes, as to be expected. Um, they are interactive with each wheel. Mm -hmm. So if one, one wheel slows down or speeds up, the other wheels detect it. It either reduces the torque in the engine or transfers the brake into the opposite wheel. So it's virtually impossible to get this thing up on two wheels. I'm not saying you can't go pear-shaped, but um, it's virtually impossible along with traction okay. control as well. It, it, the equivalent of a gold wing. What it's, about price-wise? Uh, it's very competitive with a gold wing, to be honest. Um, if you came in and uh, give us a bit of a squeeze, you'd get a bit of change out of uh, 40 grand. Really? One of the top yeah. of the range ones. They do a limited edition again, which is just uh, a tad over 40 grand, but when you see the, the features on that one, you'll understand why. Um, this is the touring version called the RT version. Uh, they start off with a base model, which is called the RS, sporty suspension on it. Very much a, more of an aggressive riding position, mm -hmm. face forward without the fairing on the front and uh, they kick off, I will give you some change out of 20 grand for one of those. Oh, that's not bad, 20 grand? Yep. That's pretty good. Done. Sold. You'll give me, you'll give me a go? Yeah? Definitely. Come All right, down well that's what we'll do. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, I might bring Corey down as well. What do you reckon? Oh, you didn't mention that before. <laughs> yeah. Is that that guy who used to race? Yeah, apparently he used to race, yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll come down. We'll come down and see you and Good we'll do another time. little shoot down there and I think we'll definitely do that. Graham, thanks a lot for coming along. The one thing I will say is you're absolutely buggered at lane splitting. Don't be fooled. I did say you can get them up on two wheels, but uh, <laughs> you might have lost the final. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget to vote for us at aurorachannel.com.au. Make us the number one show on Aurora Channel. And maybe we'll see you next week.